MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. So I'm at the Wellsbourne office of the Engineering Technology Group. I'm here with Steve Brown. We're talking about automation today. Steve, what are we going to see inside? We'll go through. Um, we've got a new um, product, which is an automation unit, along with all, all our stock machines that you'll be able to see. OK, well, let's go and have a look. Sounds good. Off we go. So, Steve, principally, what have we got here? This is a standard automation unit, OK? Um, so, basically, um, the target market for this is a retrofit item. Um, so not only can it be fitted just to our machines, but to any machine tool. OK, and the idea behind it is to be able to have unmanned running of componentry. That's right, so it's lights out running. So it does take the component, um, so it takes it from a first pallet here and then loads it into the fixture within, within inside the machine. Um, on the other side there, we can have obviously loading of the raw, raw material and, and the robot takes care of the pallet change system as well. Now you're loading here onto a five-axis machine, but is that because this is sold, or is this because this is a solution? Yeah, this is a, this is a customer's machine. Um, so basically, we have a we have a pass-off criteria that will come. The customer will come up and see and, and see this machine passed off. So it's a good example, without going into too much detail about what they're doing. What, why have they gone for this? Is there for lights out running? Okay, so obviously why they, it's, it's unmanned. So basically, all they will require is um, somebody loading the raw material on the on the other side and then the machine will, will go through all of its um, basically high production. Now there's two factors I see with automation. We've looked at quite a lot lately at MTD CNC. About sizes of parts, you know, how, what can you handle, what weights can it take, what's the diameter or the, you know, generally the size right. of the parts. The, the beauty of this product um, is very, very user friendly. So they have a, an interface keyboard here and there is um, seven variants of pallet systems that it can use. So it's, it's, it's fully conversational. So when a customer is changing over from one size to another, they have literally three variables, three data to, to input, and they can change from one component to another within, within five minutes. Is that a preset uh, component data? Yes, so on the pallet, so on the pallet system itself, it can range um, from zero all the way up to 230 millimetres. So then, as a maximum, 230 is the maximum yes, diameter? Yes, yeah. so then what the, uh, the, the, the operator will do is just select in the width, the length and the height of the block and then the robot can, can take care of everything else. And um, what about the weight? We talk about diameter, do you know what the maximum weight of the Yeah, the weight is, this, there's two variants. So this one will go up to 200 kilos and then we have a, a smaller sister to this and a larger sister to it that takes care of the, of, the, of the larger billets. And the 200 kilos is actually on the rotation of the pallet, is it, rather than what the arm can pick no, up? No, that's the rotation of the arm, okay? So on the, on the, pallet, on the pallet itself, depending upon the combination of, of, of parts, um, we can put different configurations onto the table to take more weight. Okay, so that was the first thing I was going to mention. The second was going to be the control, which you've touched on a little bit yourself. But is yes. it very, is it easy to use? Does it work in conjunction with the machine? How does the interface so work? So the interface between the two, the robot takes care of everything. All the machine tool needs to do is fire an M code. The robot will take care of picking the part up, taking the finished part, opening the door, closing the door. Um, we were responsible for the, the interface between the robot and the machine tool. So as a turnkey solution, we take on everything. So would I be right in then saying this isn't necessarily something that you need to sell with a machine when they buy a machine? You could sell it to someone who's already an existing user of a machine tool and just wants to move into more automated manufacturing. Exactly. The beauty of this, of, uh, of this unit, um, it can be moved around on, uh, on, a, on a dolly trolley, on a pump truck. Okay? So underneath they have some uh, zero point pads. So basically those feet will be located throughout the whole of their factory and they basically can unplug the machine, they can jack it up and they can move it to another machine if they wish. So that, that's pretty impressive. So what about the time it would take to do that from let's say, let's say you're on the Quasar UX300 5 axis machine here yeah. and you wanted to put it onto the feeler next door, yeah. what, what sort of time are we talking? Basically as quick as it is to unplug it, you'll, you'll transfer it over, drop it back down plug it back in and then you've got five minutes to, to set it up. You may need to change the grippers or the plates on the top there, um, but everything is pre-programmed um, in, in the robot itself. So all you need to do is just put the, the, the workings of your billet size. So is health and safety a factor here? I mean, you don't want your operator getting clouted by a robot. No, no, that's all taken care of. So you can see down there we've got a floor laser which scans the whole uh, area of the, of the floor. And basically there's two zones. Um, so basically there's a ye yellow zone that is programmed in and set by cells that you walk into and the robot will slow down 
and then the red zone is obviously when you're in within the reach of the robot it naturally stops automatically when you re you walk back out of the zone you reset the control panel here and the robot will carry on functioning so machine tools though that's what engineering technology group predominantly sell yeah why automation that's the future the, the uk is now uh, um, looking towards automation um, for lights out running um, obviously the, the, the skill set out there is diminishing so obviously robots now um, they don't fall sick like you and I do. Handle <laughs> yourself, not me. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Thanks Steve. Cheers Paul. For more videos, products and news go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.